Okay. Okay, I remember you, Roberta. I do remember mm -hmm. you. Yeah. <laughs> I would put on my camera, but... Uh... <laughs> I think I'll take mine off. Okay, but I'm glad we you I now have your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so really quickly, um, so this is we didn't have a meeting in January that got canceled, unfortunately. So, um, and the December meeting um happened, but that was prior to the holiday event, the tree lighting event. So I really mm -hmm. want to get feedback for people who attended the event um, to share their thoughts about that event and any really any input that you might have about previous events. Um, so do I have anyone that wants to talk about Andrea? I know you were there. Um, yeah, I was there. So what were your thoughts about the tree lighting event? Just, I just need some feedback. Yeah. I thought it went, went well. Um, I thought last year they, I mean, in 2023, no, I'm sorry, 2022, mm -hmm. they seem to have more vendors. Okay. This time it seemed like it was less vendors. That was the, that was the only, only difference I saw. Yeah. Okay. And what did you think about the about the variety of vendors that we had for this year? I thought it was a very diverse um, set of vendors. I did like um, the fact that we had the farmer's market. What did you think about that? At, at the tree lighting? Yes. Um, I really, I really didn't notice exactly what the uh, vendors had. I, I did see one lady, she was there from like a spa, a spa. <clears throat> yes, yes. So I thought yeah. that was nice to have um, like a beauty spa uh, company there. Right. Um, I stayed more at the booth, so I really didn't. Oh, that's right. You were, you were, you were at the town booth. I, I was at the table, yeah. Yeah, okay. But I didn't really notice too much what each table had. Okay. Okay. All righty. Um, did anybody else attend the event and have any feedback or anything that we could do better or improve on? I would, um, I would just say, I would just say try to attract more vendors. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I did for the, for the, as far as the vendors are concerned, we did do um, an Eventbrite notification mm -hmm. and um, we did go out to the vendors that had previously been at like the Marble Day event. Mm -hmm. And so we didn't really get a lot of people that wanted to participate, but, mm -hmm. um, but you know, going forward to your point, maybe if we had advertised a little bit better in the beginning, um, maybe, you know, people would have put that date on their calendar, right? Mm -hmm. It is the holidays and a lot of people already have other vending events established. So um, to your point, yeah, I, I agree. We should get more vendors. Um, yes, Mayor Franklin, I see your hand is up. Um, I was just wondering if I could get some input from y'all while you're talking about vendors on if you think the fee is impacting and what fee seems reasonable to y'all because the board of commissioners has agreed to look at the fee again. Oh, okay. That's great. Yeah. So I was thinking, this is Camille. I was not there. Um, I was planning on being there, but my parents' anniversary was that day. They had a banquet, but I was thinking about the fee as well. Because I know the previous year, um, the fee was, it was very reasonable. Um, I think, wasn't it like $25 or? It was actually, there was that, no fee. Or no fee. That's right. It was no fee. Yeah. But and I then, think that the fee was probably would cause people to say, oh, especially being around the holidays and, you know, people are already mm -hmm. spending money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
That's a good point. Um, do you think if we had, well, what about the, so the, the pricing and the fees are based or the same that we did for Marble Day. So do you feel that the fee structure for that event would, are you saying that the fee structure for Marble Day should stay as it is, except for the holiday event or in general, so the fee? Is so I, it, so in my opinion, I think um, having worked both events in the past, mm -hmm. I think with Marble Day, it's probably okay with the vendor fee. Uh, because it's a larger event, right? Mm -hmm. um, where just a lot of people come out in general. But I think maybe with the holiday um, vendor fee, maybe that one should just be considered as far as costs being a little bit lower because it is the holidays and right. also the participation. Um, I don't think it's probably, it's going to be as large of an audience how Marlboro Day is. Mm-hmm. And so I think you might attract more vendors if you did just, you know, bring the price down um, to something that's probably just a little bit more reasonable. Okay. Considering you are in the holiday season and people are already doing a lot of spending and going to, you know, events. Um, so that might just really be the factor. Okay. Well, that's good feedback. Um, Mayor, did, did you have anything else you wanted to say to that or? Yeah, I guess I was just wondering if there's a price that feels right. Like there's some of us who are like, you should just set a different fee for every event, which feels confusing to me. Mm -hmm. And then there's some of us who are like, we should just have one price that's lower than the 125. Um, so just was wondering if there's a price that feels okay to people for something like a holiday event or, you know, farmer's market type thing mm -hmm. and, and what is the fee that was um projected so the fee that is set is 125 dollars, uh -huh. and everyone has an event and they come to us and say we want to lower this fee for our event and so we're lowering the fee for individual events and like keeping it high and it feels it feels like it has a potential to be inequitable mm -hmm. if we're picking and choosing at events. Um, so you guys don't have to answer this if you don't know, but if you vend at events or hear about other events and you know what kind of fees, I'm just asking. I don't want to co-op the whole meeting though. So yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea about uh, that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. I just thought I'd ask since I was here. Now I'll get out of the way. Thank you. No, 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 that's fine. I mean, that's something that we have struggled with, um, you know, since I started was the, the fee price. Right. Um, right. so, but it's good. So you're saying that the new uh, board of uh, commissioners are, um, willing to look at the restructuring of that is that what you're saying as well and maybe New we commissioners and um a former commissioner who initially liked the 125 is seeing um the impact of that 125 so all of us are ready to make a change okay 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 well that's good to know that is good to know okay um thank you yep so i'll note that about you know, further discussion, um, you know, further input. If anybody has additional input after tonight's call about vendor fees, please uh, just provide that to me or to mayor so we can definitely, um, you know, talk about this um, because mm -hmm. our next biggest event would be Marble Day, right? Um, and with that being said, I understand I have not received uh Mayor Franklin, yes. What, so, what's the date for um, Marble Day? We changed Day? the date, y'all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is the second Saturday in June, I believe. We picked June. Is that the oh. 8th? I think it's the 8th. Oh, wow. Okay. okay so, so it's just been raining so much. And okay. we had a lot of vendors. I don't know if they talked to you or they talked to me 
or other commissioners that were like, you should just do this in June. And so we all talked it out and, you know, yet Father's Day and Mother's Day and all that. And that's, that's why we, part of our decision basis had to do with trying to get away from the rain and Mother's Day. Okay. Well, that's good. I mean, I, I, I agree with that. And, I, and when I spoke to vendors, because we had a rain date, so, um, you know, it was, it rained actually, right. you know, the first day it got rained out. What we were yes. anticipating was going to rain out and it didn't rain. And then we had a little drizzle on the rain date, but it still turned out to be a pretty nice day. Um, yeah. but this year we're not having a rain date, correct? No more rain dates. No events okay. have rain dates. Okay. Um, okay. So I do need to get that. So it's going to be June 8th. Is that Brenda? Um, no? So what John is supposed to be putting to get it together in a calendar form, but I can just email him and ask him to send you the, um, you know, yeah. ugly looking version of it. <laughs> so you have it. Okay. Okay. And that really, um, so Roberta, I know that you're new. Well, you've been to the meetings prior. So really the event, committee is our main focus is marble day right that's our biggest event and then the tree lighting event um those are the two events that normally go outside of um is advertised to non-residents of upper marlboro okay mm -hmm. so um that is primarily our main focus and so um i don't know of any other events um, that would fall between now and June. So, um, but once I get the calendar from John, we'll look at it, but that's, that's correct. Mayor, we're only really focused on marble day and the tree lighting. Correct. Yeah. So we'll marble day will like lead into like a movie night potentially, um, mm -hmm. to tie those two things together. Um, and then, the only other thing that the town does between now and June is we have a Memorial Day celebration, but the town puts that on. You guys don't do that. Right. So. Okay. Okay. And can you, Mayor, can you explain the difference? I mean, I know that structure, but I don't know why we don't just <laughs> oversee um, all events. So it's actually my fault. Um, um, originally the events committee, they wanted the events committee to do all the town's events. Okay. And we were brand new and there were some really interesting stuff with like staffing and weirdness. And, um, you know, we flat out just said like, I'm sorry, like we can't plan an event every month for y'all we we are going to do this if you want to do veterans day and memorial day like we just don't have the bandwidth to do marlboro day and memorial day okay. and trunk or treat and veterans day because we didn't have the volunteers so um if y'all have the volunteers and are interested on taking on more of those things you can communicate it probably more gracefully than i communicated it at the time <laughs> okay um, but it was just to, the three of us, um, along with Wanda, were being asked to do way too much for, okay, you know, okay. what we were. So we should leave it as is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. It is. So yeah. that, yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Now it makes perfect sense. Um. Okay, so that actually was our second agenda topic was to go over the events for 2024. And so now we know that Marble Day will be in June. So we have, you know, more time, right? <laughs> more time. <laughs> um, and so what I'll do is, um, well, I what never exactly happens on Marble Day. I've never been to one. Oh, you haven't? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing so last year 2023 um 
we also have a parade normally with Marble Day. And but because we had to have the rain date and we had to reschedule, the parade got canceled. Mm. So um, the parade has dignitaries um, that are are obviously our board of commissioners are in the parade. And then we have state dignitaries also coming um, that will participate in the parade. Um, and then we have last year we had scheduled God, we had a um, what was it? rodeo we had horses that were going to be there we had vehicles yeah, it's just a you know a, a traditional town parade um, marching band um, and then we have performance performers come right we had um, rules fitness they did um, fitness class we did have before the rain date we had two dance companies that were going to perform so it's a pretty big event. Um, mm -hmm. And, that, you know, even though we had the rain date last year, it did turn mm -hmm. out to be a pretty fun event. We had park and planning come. They had a trailer talking about the, the different uh, initiatives happening in the county. Um, yeah. And we had a DJ. Did the DJ, are we still going to have a DJ for June or has that been... I don't know if it's been decided. I know okay. the budget is tighter this year, but, yeah. and I know we were a little frustrated with the DJ because th not last year, but the previous year, yeah, so, some announcement stuff. Um, so we'll have to revisit sort of that. Yeah. Troubleshoot that internally. Yeah. Okay. So that, that does that give you an idea, Andrea? Of, of yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, it's just a good old, like I said, traditional town. And it, it, it was in May, so it was, you know, the beginning of the summer season and whatnot. So, um, got that, that event's been going on since, what, the 80s or the 90s, right, Mayor Franklin? Been going on for a really long time. It used to be like a, a group of just citizens that did it. And um, then it died out because it was too much for them to do uh -huh. and then in 2019 I think Mayor Tonga Turner brought it back um and established the events committee and we've been doing it since then I think we took a year off for COVID yeah if I remember right. correctly yeah. yeah well 20 2020 was COVID so I'm, I'm sure you didn't have it in in 2020 yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah. What else? I guess really that's all that, um, we really need to discuss tonight. Um, I didn't realize that Marvel day was in June, so we definitely have a few months, uh, to plan this out. And so what, um, I will need to do is I will need to, um, submit our budget for 2024 correct mayor for the events that we plan on which is just marble day and the tree lighting right whatever your budget request is and um if you make the budget request a little more detailed like here's how much we want for this event and this event and this event mm -hmm. then you're more likely to have it funded okay more fully okay so i will actually i um, because the town administrator, Kyle, knew all the budget and how much we spent. I mean, I can tell you the amount of tickets we sold, but I don't know overall any other expenses that we really went out on for Marble Day. So oh, I may have that spreadsheet. I have, I mean, I do have spreadsheets from not last year, but the year, all yeah. the years before. Okay. So I was a treasurer for the events committee. Okay. Um, so I can send those and I can see what I can find from. Okay. I mean, okay. Cause the only thing that I know was a cost was the DJ off the top of my head. I don't remember anything else, but. There's the bounce house things. And oh, that's right. Okay. It's, Thank you. It's kind we of did have complicated. The bounce Cause yeah. like public works gets golf carts and then they bring in, um, view halls for crash barriers is there's actually like a lot of stuff and so 
Marlboro Day actually has its own line item. So Got if it. you want to focus on, you know, what you need for trunk or treat and uh, holiday event and that kind of thing, um, and then the cost of any movie nights, then um, I can actually have our accountant pull the total cost of Marlboro Day <laughs> that is was put to that line item okay. to go in there. But okay. a lot of times what will happen is, you know, Darnell's got extra money in his vehicle maintenance budget and so that's what he codes the u-haul to okay like okay. yeah okay so that's right i forgot we did andrea I, and everyone else we do have um inflatables for the children to play in so a bounce you know bounce house or <laughs> so that was that is a cost i forgot about um yeah and the kids, and it's normally set up near the pond, and the kids just have a, a great time. So, um, okay, alrighty. So I'll get that, um, and then we can start. You know, I'll share that with everyone, um, or actually, I'll send out a request if you got if you have any other ideas that might, you know, we might have to um, develop our budget off of. Um, and that's due to John in March, correct? Yes, we like to get them in March so that, because that's usually when we're finalizing yeah. the budget, so. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. So I'll take that and um, we'll start working on that. Okay. Is there any other comments or any questions before we end tonight's meeting? What if we have an idea for like a, a new event? Um, how how do you, or, oh, if you, if you or is, the, is the committee open for suggestions for like a new event or? Yes, it is, I, I think. It always has been. <laughs> I was thinking like do a jazz concert. I don't know. If it, I don't know what the cost would be, but like like a summer jazz night. Okay, that's a good. Maybe that we could swap that out for a movie night. Is that so that? Yeah. yeah that I mean, be... the movie nights have been mm -hmm. kind of dying down in participation since like everybody else started doing them. So. And the jazz yeah. tends to look at the parents, you know, movie mm -hmm. nights. Oh. Yeah, so the jazz kind of an adult night just to walk around and, and mingle with other neighbors and such. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a cool idea. Okay. Yeah, that is actually. And would you think maybe that would be in the... Well, I, I mean, I would think... I mean, I don't know how much it costs to pay a jazz band to come out, but I think mm -hmm. movie nights generally range around five hundred dollars each. Um, so no, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's fair to kind of budget that amount and then internally decide what you want to do. Um, I know that the commissioners and a lot of the residents really liked how the movie nights worked out over by town hall because it was like a lot more contained for the kids mm -hmm. and i think with a jazz night um you could still do that in kind of that area or you could potentially do it downtown so like maybe it's one jazz night and one movie night yeah um mm -hmm. But yeah, that's what you'll propose to us in the budget. So this is a good time to discuss with Lisa. And Wanda's not here, so that makes it hard, but. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Andrea. That's a good idea. And we'll have to, so um, I will speak to Wanda about that. Cause she I don't know any, I don't know any musicians though. I just had the idea. <laughs> no, it's, it's I actually, um, uh, my church, we had a jazz night, jazz on the lawn, but I will have to say it was a very hot, hot night 
and we had a food truck. We had three, we had two food trucks and um, the lickety split ice cream truck. Um, we had a pretty good turnout, but it, we had to move it from outside to inside. So, um, oh yeah. And yeah. then it might rain. So yeah. And it was a hot summer. So yeah, I remember I, I, I had to deal with the parking and so I was stuck outside. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but we can, we can always revisit. I mean, I think this is a great idea I'll or maybe it with Wanda and, you know, or if not this year, do it next year. The other thing you can do, um, I mentioned on Saturday is if you have an idea for an event, it's an additional event, you can actually submit it to us. So let's submit to us movie night, movie night, movie night, jazz night, and all the prices you kind of estimated for them. And then the commissioners can say, wow, we like the idea of a jazz night. We don't have enough money for three movie nights and a jazz night why don't we do two movie nights and a jazz night? Yeah. So, um, because it, I think that may be helpful because a lot of the commissioners kind of get in their heads about the events um, because it is like an opportunity for them to perform, right? And, and be seen. Uh, so I think you have a better chance of getting the funding by like allowing them some ability to, you know, say we don't have the money for all of this, but let's tell them what we'll fund. Okay. That sounds like a great idea. So what the action for me from this meeting is one, I'll get the um, the historical spending that we did for 2023, right? I will also get John um, to send me the list of events that are on that were approved by the board for 2024 and then from there we'll we'll see where the movie nights i guess those are on there right they've already been established Mayor? so yeah the movie nights are, tend to be in there it's it's a whole spreadsheet that i have okay. Lisa, okay. and i can actually just send it over to you it's like your initial request okay um, but, from last year but the calendar of events that you all approved is were the movie nights already in there or would we need to Ooh, they are in there okay um, so so okay so we'll get yeah. that calendar from john and then i'll send it to everybody that's um on the invitation mm -hmm. and um so you all will have an idea and then um we'll figure out where we you know could possibly put in a jazz night if anyone knows any musicians um feel free to send them our way. I can find uh, contact my church that had that one jazz artist and see, you know, if maybe he could participate if, if it gets approved. So. Uh, and would there be a cause? I mean, the, the artist, would they get paid or is that? Um, yeah. I think that would be the only cost really. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Be paying of the artist. Mm -hmm. okay. and how many and how many hours so the movie nights are what like two hours or yeah four? yeah and let it me put enough. another thing out for you guys um which is that we are open to kind of creating sponsorship packages for these events and we have corporate folks in the area like Marlboro Ford, Andrews Federal Credit Union asking us how they can participate, how they can help. Um, we just haven't had anyone, you know, that we've had focus on staff on putting together a sponsorship package. So I don't know, I don't have any experience doing it, but if someone in this committee has knowledge and experience. Um, if you guys want to look at doing that so you can do more events, that is actually something you are allowed to do. It just needs to be approved by the town. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we did a sponsorship package for Marble Day. Mm -hmm. Okay. We did. Yeah, but um, just not like the high level kind of thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Well, we could take but, a look at it. I, I've never done a sponsorship package. I can look at what Kyle yeah. did. But... Okay. Because like Marlboro Ford could put on jazz night. 
and Marlboro Tire could put on movie night. And then like, it okay, eases all of that. Like that, that's an option for them. And then they can have advertising there. Right. So. Okay. All righty. Do we have any other questions, concerns? No. Okay, great. Well, thank you um, for coming out tonight. And then our next meeting will be March the 7th. And you should have the that invitation on your calendar because I did a reoccurring meeting. So okay. let me know if, if you don't have it and I'll make sure I'll put you on the calendar. You'll have an official liaison by then. Okay. Are we allowed to say that on this call? Who it is? No, just that we we have selected a town administrator. I just said oh. it. So. <laughs> we can say that, but don't say who it is yet because I don't I don't know who it is. So I just okay. know that <laughs> no one knows because the board has to actually vote in public, oh, which okay. we're going to do on Saturday. Oh, okay. Um, so okay. Yes, that's but you, you also get a commissioner liaison. Um, oh, okay. I that's what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. And do yeah. we know who that is yet, or no? We don't we know will that. Be deciding that on Saturday as well. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great. So. And then right. that and that liaison will have provide guidance and as well. So. I yeah. say all that just to say um, we may be adding more events. Who knows? Other than the jazz mm -hmm. night. So well, let's okay. not get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, well, actually, it's going to be tight this year, guys. I got to yeah. be honest. Like okay. some of the stuff we love doing may, you know, get underfunded. And then what we'll do if, if stuff gets underfunded is really now with a, new, a town administrator, I should be able to go out and try to drum up sponsorships for some of it. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, you've been doing you've been wearing a lot of hats there, Mayor. So. And they're all falling off. <laughs> <laughs> OK. OK, well, um, thank you. And um, obviously, if you have any feedback, please email me or just give me a call. OK. Perfect. All righty. Okay. Good, Good night. night. All right. Good night. Thank Good, Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.